Thanks for joining me once again as we discuss this whole topic of profits in today's church. Before we get started, as always, I invite you to click, subscribe, all that good stuff down below, and that way you're able to get fresh content as soon as it comes out, and also help us to expand this channel. Thanks for doing that. The idea of profits in the local church is actually rather foreign to most pastors. It's not part of our culture today. We have grown accustomed to not having prophets or apostles interact with the church at all. However, Ephesians chapter 4 makes it very clear that unless there is the interaction of apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers functioning together, the church will never come to full maturity. It's high time that legitimate prophetic ministry uh, assume its place in the Church of Jesus Christ today. But by and large, we really don't have a good understanding of how to do this. So I want to offer some practical advice today about how to integrate prophetic ministry in our church. First of all, preach about it. Teach about it. Scripture says, as I mentioned in a previous video, faith comes by hearing and hearing comes by the Word of God. Unless you as a leader or unless someone in your church begins to talk about these things, it's never going to be addressed. We need to create environments where the prophetic is acceptable or even willing to be discussed. Maybe it's not acceptable at this point, but is there a place where there can be discussion taking place? If you are somebody who you feel is being called into prophetic ministry, and this is a painful thing, but if you're in a church right now that absolutely is against it, well, first of all, I would encourage you to approach the leadership, approach the pastor, whoever, and begin to discuss your concerns about prophetic ministry and investigating that. If you find that there's an open mind on the other end, then continue to stay in that church and work with that church. But if you find that there are leaders who say, we don't accept that here, we don't believe that, we don't want anything to do with it, unfortunately, it may be time for you to find another environment where the prophetic is more welcome. And that's not the intention of this video today. I don't want to be moving people from church to church. But if prophetic ministry is going to develop, you cannot be in an environment where the leadership is against it. Then you're just going to be a problem. <laughs> and that leadership is not going to receive you, and you're not going to be blessed, and they're not going to be blessed. So you probably need to find another place. That being said, when we're talking about leaders developing prophetic ministry, those of you who are open to it, maybe you don't have prophetic ministry functioning, maybe you're still investigating it, great. Investigate what the scriptures say. Turn off what everyone else is teaching about it. Look at what the New Testament says. Read the Acts of the Apostles. Read 1 Corinthians chapter 12. Stop coming up with the stupid idea and excuse that the Corinthian church was carnal and that's why they had things going on. Yes, they had carnal things going on in their church, and so did the other churches, but that has nothing to do with the gifts. That's just ridiculous. Even approaching it like that is just silly. Look at what the Bible says about it. Look what Paul talked about and what they taught about the prophetic ministry. And then when you begin to develop this dynamic, if you have people that begin to function in this gift, begin to encourage that with accountability. Because prophetic ministry can be very powerful and helpful and strengthening and confirming. It does those three things we mentioned earlier. The gift does encouragement, comforting, exhortation, exhortation, comforting, and uh, I'm sorry, building up or edifying. So you want those kind of dynamics going on in your church, I'm sure. And I think that if you're somebody who's functioning in prophecy, especially the gift of prophecy, you're only going to do those three things anyway. So prophecy can be a real blessing to your church when it's done properly, especially when it's accountable. And this is what we're after in this whole series. Prophetic ministry must be accountable to local leadership. It can't be something that functions on its own. And what's happened in the past, because the church has had a, in general, has had such a negative view of prophets and prophecy, those who begin to be called in these gifts find themselves in environments where it's hostile. What do they end up doing? Right or wrong, they end up going outside the local church and they become pariahs, they become freaks. And then when they do, we say there's an example of false prophecy and that's why we don't believe in prophecy and it becomes a self-fulfilling dynamic. That's not what God has in mind. Prophetic ministry needs to be welcomed and it needs to come under the auspices of the local church. It needs to come under the leadership of the local church and the guidance, direction, and teaching of the local church. And when prophets are raised up just like pastors, just like teachers, just like evangelists, when they're encouraged by local pastors and they're taught, 
or they're at least made uh, accessible to good information and good teaching on this, then prophets can really develop and grow. And by the way, that's going to help your ministry, Pastor, if you're listening to this video. We need to have an environment where the prophetic is welcome, it's accountable, it's, it's judged, it's, it's discerned, as we've been talking about in previous videos, but it's a welcome uh, to that kind of a ministry. We ought to have welcome signs available for pastors, emerging pastors, emerging teachers, emerging evangelists, emerging prophets, and yes, emerging apostles. Well, we're going we're gonna to need to talk about that in a future series, I think. What are prophets and apostles all about? Well, that's something we're going to have to tackle at another time. But for today, I just want to encourage you who are leaders and those of you who are in that prophetic ministry to find a way to be a blessing and to be of use and to be an encouragement in the church you're in. If you're in an environment where the church is really not open to prophetic ministry, but is not closed to it either, make an appointment with a pastor and discuss your concerns and discuss the dynamics of the fact that you feel like God has been giving you these prophetic words. You want to be accountable. You want them to be judged. You want to offer them to the leadership. Be a submissive person. To develop the prophetic gift in yourself, always be in the place where you want to bless those who are in authority as much as is in you. Don't be a prophetic voice that is trying to oppose leadership because God isn't going to back you with that kind of stuff. Prophetic ministry needs to be one that it's, it's strengthening the local church. The gifts do that. The life gift is a more mature version of prophecy. Once again, it needs to come, come under the auspices of the local church. Prophet ministry are ministry that function in a local church, and they also perform extra locally. And we'll talk about that in the next video. But I just want to encourage you today, especially if God is calling you into this unique and important, and I believe needed ministry in the church, have a humble spirit, be teachable, be approachable, be willing to submit what you, whatever God has given you to those who are in leadership. If you are in a leadership environment where that leadership absolutely rejects prophecy, you are going to have to find yourself a different environment. It's not my intent here, but that may be the only alternative if you find a situation where they don't receive the prophetic. Now, if they perceive, if they receive the prophetic, but they're not receiving you, that may be another problem. So don't necessarily mean, I don't necessarily mean that if they receive the prophetic, but they're having a problem with you, you may be the problem. So let's make a distinction there. Um, I have had people come in who were prophetic and I've needed to say to them, as you've heard in my previous videos, I've had to say to them, listen, you're wrong. And then they left the church. Well, it wasn't because our church didn't receive the prophetic, it was they weren't functioning in the right spirit. So that's a different story altogether. We discussed that already, so I don't want to go back over it again. But thank you for listening to this video today. And we're going to kind of finish up this series in the next video. I want to talk to you about the prophetic ministry outside of the local church and how that integrates with the local church. See you then. Hey, before you go, can you please leave me a comment, like, and subscribe? I would greatly appreciate it.